Hey everyone, this is Rock again. This is going to be episode 2. And this is going to be the very beginning. So, we're going to think of it's been one day. Uh, I still have my tools. I thought about just going down to iron and stone, but F that, I have them. And so, I'm going to I'm going to use them. Uh, so it's going to be like day 1 minus my awesome equipment. And so all you have is this chest, you've cut some trees down, you've found some iron, you've found some coal, and you're like, okay, now what? And I'm day one and I have everything you can usually do in regular Minecraft. Uh, you have this nice beautiful plot of land. It's been terraformed. Um, so what do we do next? Uh, this is going to be the most basic tutorials that they can be. This first one is going to be uh, the iron furnace. Um, let me let's see. An iron furnace, which uh, you could do this, but I personally use this. It's, you save cobbles, the easiest thing to get. Um, so I don't r ruin my my iron supply, but I can just do this. So we're going to start with that, and possibly a macerator. Let me just see. Um, yeah, probably not. What's a rotary macerator do? Alright, sidetracked. Never mind. So we're going to just start with this. Um, what you need is a furnace and iron. And so a furnace, when you put a piece of coal in it, it can cook down eight pieces of, eight pieces of anything. You put it in, cooks eight, which is nice, but it's not totally efficient, obviously. You know, eight pieces for one piece of coal kind of sucks. Um, so what you do is now you have this iron that you went exploring and got. You put it in, in the pattern like this, and you get this guy. Um, after you get to this point, it, you should never have a regular furnace again. They're, they're absolutely worthless. And so you have this nice iron furnace. Um, it can do, put it in here, if you take 10 pieces and put it in, one piece of coal will now cook 10, which is nice, you know, you just got two, two more for nothing, for five pieces of iron, you can use it over and over again. Uh, when I first started, I had a ton of these, I had about five up on it's 10, 5, up on the wall. And now I can cook them up and do this with them and everything. So yeah, that's pretty pretty much an iron furnace. An iron furnace seems pretty easy. That's, you know, three minutes of the video. Um, so that's how you do that. Now, I'm trying to think of what I did next to just make my world a better place for me. Um, give me a second. Is, okay. Okay, I'm back, and I realized that that will not work. Um, see, ten, eight, better. That what I was gonna do was show you. I don't want to do this. Sorry, guys. Sorry, world. Yeah, I might as well. So let's take a nap. So you have this now, which is nice, uh, makes life easier to do, but now you're there, you'll be at that point for a, for a good amount of time where you just have that, until uh, the next thing that you need to, to move up in this world is rubber. Rubber is the most important thing, uh, you need to find a rubber tree. I've read online that moist, humid environments are where you usually find them. When I first spawned, I was in a rainforest, so that's where I found mine, so that's where I know to find them. Uh, I don't know if that's 100% true, but what you need is rubber, and we're just going to take one of these trees. And so this will be a rubber slash, I think that's a rubber tree growing right there, look at that. So, bam, we have our first rubber tree, and usually there's resin on the tree. 
And from my experiences, yeah, there. my experiences, uh, wherever you find that piece of resin, that's the only piece it will ever grow again. I n I've never found another one after it shows one on there. So, we have that. And so you found ores, you start putting them in your, your furnace, and you're like, well, let's see what happens. And they made these. And so you have copper and tin, and you're like, well, what do you do with them? Where do you where do you go from an iron? I have an iron furnace. What else do I need? You know, it's, I've already made my world better. Um, the one thing you could do whenever you found something like this, like these two ores that you've never seen before, appetite even, you're gonna find. I mean, it's just everywhere. Um, you click, you put your your mouse over it, and you click U, the U uh, button on your keyboard, and it tells you what machine you put it in and what you get. So pulverize, you get pulverized tin. You craft, you put it in a crafting. You, I mean, you can get this thing. You can make tin gears. You can make an aqueous accumulator, a mag, magmatic engine, bronze cans, tin gears, engines, also a squeezer, a mailbox. Doesn't that, doesn't that look like the Facebook one? I don't even know what those do. Those sound kind of pretty cool though. Uh, you put them in the thermionic fabricator. You get tubes. There is a. You get tin plates. Makes metal ingots. Uh, different machines, different coolants. Tin, tin has a ton of, ton, of, ton of things you can do. Uh, the only terrible part about it is it's hard to find. It's always the hardest one. Um, you need that, and you will need tons of refined iron. I already have a lot. I already have a lot of everything. That's why I'm kind of going off and doing these now. Um, those are important. All of these you're going to start finding throughout the world. They're very important. Don't throw anything out. Uh, that's just stupid. Even that, uh, there's this one ore you'll find. The mod, the mod is it. I don't, it has one use. And that's to make four, four seam. And that only has one use as well. But these have a lot of uses. You know, you can make a few different things with these. I have yet to make anything with them. And I have tons of it. But I keep it. I keep everything. Appetite, when I first found I I had no idea what it was used for. Come to find out, these are the things that, you know, you start learning. Um, so we made some refined iron. We have our rubber tree out there. And now we want to... Uh, now we want to... We need that resin. You know, that you can't get far without it. You need one of these. It's called a tree tap. Sorry, I gotta shift in my chair. I'm uncomfortable. I have a noisy ass chair. You need a tree tap, and that's the only way to uh, to get resin out of a tree. Uh, there's a light. If you click it too, you find out that you can make uh, this thing, this tree tapper. Uh, it sucks. I've tried it. I hate it. Uh, but there's other things it's good for. I, I make an electric tree tap. We'll eventually make one of those. Mining pipes. Don't know what those do either. A lot of things in here I still don't know what they do. But uh, let's make one real quick. Uh, they break really fast. They only last a short amount of time. So as soon as you can make an electric one, I recommend it. Because then you can just charge it with a generator. Which you'll eventually start getting power for. And all you do is you come over to where you see the little uh, little orange guy. And you, you uh, right click and you get resin. Um, at the beginning, you, you won't have a lot of it. You'll slowly work your way up to having a tree. When I find a tree, I start, I just get rid of the leaves and you continuously plant. I want you to get to about 20 trees. That's a good amount to have. Uh, what you do with this is you put it in when you start. You put it in a furnace and that cooks in a rubber. Um, I have more rubber than I know what to do with anymore, especially because I don't even use copper cables. Uh, so let's just go grab some. Uh, this probably have once I sorry this is the first time I've done this so um, next time I'll learn to I'll learn to have it with me okay I'm back and I grabbed a, a stack of rubber so for you you you're living in this hole you had to keep looking at this tree cutting stuff down. Cutting leaves down, plant more, get more. Well, I just want to grab a stack. I've done that already. Been there, done that. Um, now you have all this rubber. And so, what you want to start doing 
after you get to this iron furnace, and I'm, I'm sure I'm leaving out something, but I mean, once I got to this, I wanted, I'll just show you what I wanted next. I wanted this. I wanted bronze. Um, bronze ingots, I, I find to be very important. But bronze doesn't show up in the world. You actually have to make bronze dust, which is copper dust and tin dust together. And that's the only way to get it. Same thing here. Oh, never mind. You don't need to macerate it. I did not know that. Macerating is just pointless. All right, well, let's do that right now then. We don't have to go any farther. I'm gonna take uh, four. Yeah, we'll just make a few for now. And whenever you make this, it makes uh, you get two. You, know, you get so I'm gonna get four. Wow, that's that's pretty good. I did not know that. You get a lot more. Now we have 16, which is just the amount I used. So that's that's great. Uh, now you have this bronze, which is, in my opinion, extremely important in the beginning of the game, because instead of using the tools you already had, such as uh, iron, uh, iron becomes very important in the fact that uh, a lot of a lot of recipes call for it. Iron becomes very important because a lot of recipes call for it. And you know, in the beginning, the beginning of the game, tin and copper aren't that big of a deal. So you make bronze, and that's how you get. That's how you get your rubber, by the way. That's how you get bronze. So, sorry about everything else I just did. We're not going to learn about a mass radar or an electric furnace or any of that today, because I didn't know you could do that. But that will be next video because I think the electric furnace is pretty important in generators and and that stuff but so these are very these tools right here are kind of end game tools uh, they're very far down the line like to make one of these you need three di you need to make a drill first and then you uh which you know that takes steel steel is a pain in the ass and uh you know circuits you need you need a ton of tools a ton of machines just to get to that so in the beginning bronze is great you know you, oh you know you have these new tools now that last, I believe, just as long as iron, but that break faster. I'm not 100% on that. If anyone is, I'd love to know. But, you know, all these tools here are extremely important. What's the problem? Oh, okay. Um, that's how you make a bronze axe. It's all weird. I did not know that. Yep, nope, there we go. Okay, so now you know too. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of an opposite thing. The sticks go to the other side. Yeah, you can look up recipes for anything, which is nice. Uh, so now you have these. You have these awesome tools because you found these random things in here and you put, them, you put them in your furnace and now you have these great tools which uh, you start going mining for some more. And as time goes on, you get more and more of these bronze and your tools become more and more important uh, you get more rubber and so this is a like kind of beginning of the stages you've you've, uh, you've got to the beginning you don't have much you kinda kinda running around with your head cut off and so you start building these things you start finding these and you start getting rubber and the beginning so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, I hope to pump out a few more that I actually do that electric one I'm talking about right now. Um, I'll upload, should have three videos up this week. I uh, appreciate your time. This has been Rock, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.